In today's video, we'll be talking about the benefits of investing in casino stocks. So should you invest in casino stocks? Let's have a look into this video. If you picture James Bond movies or trying your luck at the craps table, going to the casino could seem like a moment that's been trapped in time. However, the casino sector is evolving quickly and these changes offer investors a rare chance. The trend of legalizing online gambling is being embraced by both established casino chains and newcomer online gambling companies. The Asian gambling industry, which is concentrated at the Chinese enclave of Macau, has established itself as the biggest in the world, offering substantial profits to operators who have one of the few licenses to do business there. After being severely impacted by the COVID-19 epidemic, the industry's potential complete reopening in 2022 may provide a profitable opportunity when gamblers and tourists return in large numbers in places like Las Vegas. After all, traditional casinos don't just rely on slot machines and table games to generate revenue. They function like hotels, depending on room occupancy, as well as conferences and other meetings for a major amount of their income, similar to other leisure and hospitality companies. Casino stocks are categorized as consumer discretionary companies because of the strong correlation between gaming and tourist expenditure and the state of the economy as a whole. If you're seeking some of the top casino stocks available, keep watching this video to learn about the 6 most alluring gambling stocks you can purchase right now. MGM Resorts One of the most spectacular portfolios of assets in the casino sector belongs to MGM. The Bellagio, MGM Grand, the Mirage, Luxor, and New York, New York are just a few of the well-known casino resorts it owns. It also has properties in Atlantic City, Detroit, and Mississippi. Additionally, it owns 56% of each of the MGM Macau and MGM Cote casinos in Macau. In comparison to many of its competitors, it's more vulnerable to Las Vegas tourism since almost two-thirds of its 45,000 hotel rooms are on the Strip. When the pandemic initially hit in March 2020, MGM stock crashed, but thanks to an investment from IEC Interactive and shift to internet gambling via BetMGM, it has since recovered to post-financial crisis high. It introduced sportsbooks at a number of its locations in 2021 and began offering internet betting in a number of states. Adjusted EBITDA is already higher than pre-pandemic levels as of the third quarter of 2021, creating momentum for the post-pandemic period. Las Vegas Sands The best place to place your wagers in Macau is at Las Vegas Sands. With five casinos in Macau and the Marina Bay Sands in Singapore, the corporation is solely focused on the Asian market. In March 2021, it paid $6.25 billion to sell its Las Vegas operations, which included the Venetian, to a private equity company. Unfortunately, the pandemic strategy of concentrating on Asia failed when traffic to Macau plummeted as a result of stringent lockdowns in China and other Asian nations. The stock's 2021 close was far below its pre-pandemic levels. Due to its closeness to sizable populations and the cultural affinity for gambling in China and other areas of Asia, Macau should continue to be the largest gambling market in the world as the region recovers from the epidemic. Las Vegas Sands has been slower to enter the online gambling business due to its concentration on the global market, but it announced ambitions to become a strategic investor in digital gaming technology in July 2021. The corporation does not, however, currently operate an online gambling business. If you're liking our content so far, make sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Wynn Resorts Another diverse casino operator is Wynn, which owns 72% of the Wynn Palace and Wynn Macau in Macau, the Wynn and Encore in Las Vegas, as well as the 2019 Open Encore Boston Harbor. In October 2020, the business also launched Wynn Interactive, in which it has a 72% share and collaborated with Bull to build an online sportsbook and an online casino. Last year, Win came close to selling Win Interactive to a SPAC, but ultimately decided against it in November 2021. According to media reports from January 2022, the firm was once again looking for a buyer. The economics of online sports betting are unfavorable, according to former CEO Matt Maddox, since rivals are spending too much on acquisition expenses. Wynn is still dealing with the effects of the epidemic. 
Wynn's focus on undeserved markets like Dubai and the Boston area could pay off for investors down the road. Wynn was still operating at a loss as of the third quarter of 2021, but it continues to aim at developing large luxury properties and recently announced plans for a resort close to Dubai in 2026. Penn National Gaming Early in the epidemic, Penn National Gaming shares soared as a result of investors being enthused with the company's expansion into internet gaming. Despite cooling down since its peak, the stock is still much higher than it was before the outbreak. Despite owning 44 facilities across 20 states, the company's stock has mostly come to be identified with online gambling. An online sportsbook and casino are both operated by Penn Interactive. Additionally, it has a 36% ownership in Barstool Sports, in which it entered into a strategic alliance in order to market only its own sportsbook, namely Barstool Sportsbook. Following the Barstool acquisition, the business strengthened its position in the online gaming industry by purchasing The Score, another digital media and gaming platform. The firm recorded strong growth through 2020 and 2021 and was even profitable on a gap basis unlike many of its competitors despite challenges from the pandemic on its gaming assets. Penn is in a good position to profit if online sports betting keeps growing. Well that about wraps up this video which we hope you guys enjoyed. See you again next time!